Hey you guys, it's Nacho Dad, and you might be asking yourself, what is this conglomeration of parts that I'm working on? Well, I'll tell you. I'm building my own uh, inverter generator to take with me to, like, mini bike go-kart events and uh, things like that, take it camping. I've got a big generator, a 3500 watt, and I think I've got a 55 or 7500 watt, you know, big generator to power the house and stuff if I need it. But I wanted something a little smaller, something I made. So this is what I've come up with. And it's just, it's gonna be an inverter based generator and this is just my little 400, uh, 400 watt inverter for now because that's just the one I carry with me in my truck. I've got a uh, battery out of a Dodge Challenger. Not the best because it's not a deep cycle, but again, free. Uh, one wire GM alternator was well, in a box of stuff. I got at a yard sale for five bucks, so I'll say a dollar. That's what I paid for that. Uh, some leftover one inch square tubing. And then the engine is the uh, factory 97cc engine off my mini bike. Kind of see it sitting over there. So I figured since I've got all the parts and I've got a little downtime, I'd work on this. The frame is 14 wide by 24 long. And I did that because the trailer I'm building to pull behind my mini bike for stuff is going to be 24 wide. So this will slide right in and I'll have some mounting points. So it'll plop in, put a pan in, and it won't go anywhere. So this is just like the rough draft start of it. Kind of like the basics. I'm going to get a 1,000 watt or a 1,500 watt inverter and mount it up here on the cage higher when I get it done. Oh. But that's the start. I've got a bed. I'm gonna next. I'm gonna build another plate for the top, and do risers on it, so that it's fully caged. Uh, right now, the engine, and alternator, and frame only weighs about 25 pounds, but the battery weighs about 45, 50 pounds. So it's not gonna be light, but it also has the ability to jump start cars and charge car batteries. So I'm gonna keep working on this. And let's build a top plate and a cage and start positioning stuff. Oh, and a battery mount. Let's start. All right, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and uh, did a little extra welding. Solid all the way around. I'm running that, still running that Vulcan wire, but through the uh, other machine. And it welds a little better with the Hobart, but it's still not good. So I've got my vertical pieces here. And here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna build that now. Tack welded it all on, and I've already tack welded the top cage. So, yeah. Let me tack all this together real quick, and I'll bring you right back. Hey guys, I'm back. It's a different day. Kind of got the sun working against us. We're in the shade right now. But just wanted to show you, I've already gone through and welded the cage all the way around it. I was just going to tack it and I had it tacked the other day and then it started raining so I didn't get to film anymore. But I went ahead and fully welded it just to get it all done. I haven't cleaned anything up yet so it's ugly but I like ugly. The uh, pipe thread exhaust doing its thing. So right now the engine's mounted, the alternator's mounted where it needs to be. I need to come up with a way to hold it. I don't know if I want like permanent pressure, if I want to do a spring because that engine does bounce a lot. Either way, I think I'm going to have to run a secondary bar somewhere in here just to give me somewhere to mount this alternator to. Keep tension on it. All right. Battery's going to go over here. I've got some angle. I'm going to build a little tray to hold it and put a uh, battery mount over it so it all stays together. That way if this thing starts rocking around it doesn't vibrate the battery out or anything. I've got to... Damn, after that, clean it up and paint it, but I don't clean up and paint anything, do I? So, rusty metal it is. It's the best. Keeps people from stealing shit. I don't, nobody wants rusty junk. Uh, battery mount, alternator tension, and then wiring. I feel like this thing might be running in about an hour, maybe? And we'll see if we can actually get power. Alright. 
battery box next, and then wiring. We'll see if this thing works. All right, I'm back. I said I was going to do the battery tray. I lied. I went ahead and did the uh, alternator tensioner mounting stuff here. And uh, here's how I did that. I just took a little piece of angle iron. I'm, the sun is working against me. I apologize. So it's just a little piece of angle iron with two holes drilled in it. And uh, there's just enough room to be able to get in there and take that out. And then I welded a big nut on it. I came over, put a piece of that one inch tubing at an angle, lined it all up, drilled a hole, and now that's my tensioner. So I can just grab my 18 mil wrench and tighten that belt up if I need to. But I think now it's tight enough. I'm gonna give it a start, see what it looks like, see if I can grab some of my wiring and just make it run. Let's see if we can put out any voltage on it. All right, I'm gonna grab some stuff and see what we can do. All right, so I've got the uh, homemade inverter generator out here. I just finished doing the uh, tensioner for the alternator. And I've got it fired up running just kind of as a test to see if it's gonna work. Right now we've got 12.7 on the voltage. We've got it kind of idled down. We're going to give it some throttle and then we're going to hook the field up and see what we get. Or I'm going to kill it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm going to hook the field up. Look at the bell. Nope. Wide open. Hanging around 17 volts. I wonder why that's climbing. Back to idle. I wonder if I just had the RPM too high. volts real quick and I just went ahead and killed it and started doing some more looking and I thought I had a 10s alternator or a 10si alternator which is internally regulated you just hit 12 volts to it boom it goes no I have a 10dn I need an external regulator so I just hopped on the gargler typed it in found what I needed ordered it it should be here in a week so unfortunately not gonna get to see it do what I want to do right now but that's fine I'm gonna work on the battery tray and then I'm thinking of putting my predator tank up here doing some more stuff just get a little more work done on it while I wait for the regulator and I might go ahead and get all the wiring done but uh, alright this might be the end of this video and I might do part two actually I think that's what I'm gonna do because I've got like a lot of videos so we'll do that also new welder Hobart handler 140 it's a couple years old it was my brother's but I don't think I've showed it actually I'm gonna do a walk around on this too so that'll be out before this will be out so you'll already know about that what you know about that oh it's Saturday I'm delusional I need coffee alright it was a win and a fail it was a win because it worked it was a fail because well I mean it's a win I guess it's just a win Nah, it's a fail because it can't finish it, but it's a win because now I know what's wrong with it. So, alright guys, I'll end this video here. I'll catch you on the next one. We'll see if we can have everything done on the net for the next video and actually see what kind of power we put out. I thought this was a 80 amp, but it's like a 63 amp. So, less power output than I expected, but it'll, it'll work. We'll see what we can do. We'll catch you guys on the next video.